excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with love. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. control what I inherit. But you can control what you do with it. Why I know. The dingo? I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. You need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena, and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. This time. I have the strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense. You like the man Ah, so good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. The dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yeah. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you 
you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant. But any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andrew Mask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, you flaxen-haired wench. And bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Better than I thought. Go on, Dandelion. I mean, Crimson Avenger. The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair. Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless. Black Denarius, no Denarius. <laughs> Old man Newman left me with the flying cattle. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. I hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. about Polly and her half-brained fiance they're fighting she's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography and that lummox won't let her work for me hold, hold, hold on what are you doing here we were gonna meet at the rosemary we were but you didn't show Priscilla started to worry so I came to see how you were doing Priscilla started worrying about me that's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait. Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Fine. Let's find the key. Damn it. Now where would she leave? Not here. Ah, the key. The 
looks like rain. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the... She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property. I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. Portside. See you soon. Looking for Rotlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Fagel Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races! See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Seems you're a considerable sum in the red, but you shan't back out. You Rotlick? Henri Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. I tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to de Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You're that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer.
Take it easy. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary and Tyne. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Well, see the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And... she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? A relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? 
In fact, just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemmelfart himself. Thanks. <laughs>